Well, if you want to see the UN's climate agenda at work, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency is going to be spending a million and a half of your taxpayer dollars on a stove intervention in Africa. That's right. Those pesky wood-burning stoves that humans have been using for centuries have now come under scrutiny due to the carbon emissions from when Africans cook. Some 200 houses in the Sahel region of Africa will be randomly selected, some families will be given improved cook stoves, and then they're going to study and assess the use and behaviors of the emissions for the next year. The EPA grant argues that this project is necessary because the population in this region is projected to continue to grow at alarming rates, which will result in ever-increasing emissions from cooking and lighting. If everybody's raising living standards to the point where everybody's got a car and everybody's got air conditioning and everybody's got a big house, uh, well, the planet will boil over. The Obama administration kicked off a massive campaign today to cut carbon dioxide emissions. This climate campaign includes a trip to the Alaskan Arctic by President Barack Obama. He's going to call attention to the effects of global warming. Ironically, his trip will emit tons of carbon dioxide, 161 metric tons for just that one leg of the flight, or about 354,585 pounds of carbon dioxide. That's equivalent to what 22 homes emit from burning electricity every year, or the annual emissions from driving 33 cars, or 33 African families cooking for a year. Now, obviously, there are health risks associated with smoke inhalation that comes from cooking indoors, but there are several companies that are already actively working to improve the way cooking is done in the developing world. But just look at the hypocrisy of President Obama's unnecessary trip to the Arctic. Unless he is giving his speech on top of a melting ice cap, there is absolutely no reason for him to go there while he's lecturing the world on climate change. Throughout its four and a half billion year lifespan, the Earth has gone through tremendous changes. Who knew we were just waiting for his Lord and Savior Barack Obama's climate plan to fix everything. And our Lord and Savior, Barack Obama. Barack Obama.